Right, so courtesy of the elect, we have some information regarding OLED coming to the iPad Air 5 in 2022 and also the 2023 iPads adopting LTPO OLED displays. Now yes, I know some of you guys might be confused by this news and it might not make a ton of sense and so let's delve into my thoughts and break down the report but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just suck in. Right, so beginning with the OLED panel on the iPad Air 5, I know some of you guys might think that OLED is better than mini LED. And so how exactly does it make sense that the iPad Air gets OLED before the iPad Pro? Now the elect actually doesn't tell us a lot about this OLED panel, but thankfully Minchi Kuo has in the past. And basically, this OLED panel should be worse than the mini LED panel we have on the iPad Pro. Specifically, it's a rigid form of OLED that should have worse colors and brightness to mini LED. And so yes, this OLED panel should definitely be inferior to the mini LED panel we have on the iPad Pro. But of course, OLED is still a massive improvement over the regular LCD panel we have on the iPad Air today. And do remember that this won't increase the price because Minchu Kuo has said this rigid form of OLED pretty much costs the same as an LCD panel. And so yes, basically for the same price, you're getting better colors and of course those inky blacks. And yes, I know some of you guys might wonder what's happening with the 11 inch iPad Pro since obviously that still has a regular LCD panel and surely the iPad Air won't have a better display than the 11 inch iPad Pro, right? Well, do remember we are seeing this OLED iPad Air in 2022 and obviously by then we should see the 2022 iPad Pro and I'm assuming Apple will bring over the superior mini LED panel to the iPad Pro 11 inch and so yes, I do still believe OLED in the iPad Air does make a ton of sense. Now I do want to mention that we have heard conflicting reports regarding when the iPad Air should be getting OLED because the elect and Minchi Kuo believe it's going to be in 2022 but Ross Young who is a display analyst and knows pretty much everything there is to know about the display industry believes Apple is going to give us our first OLED iPads in 2023 and so there is a chance that maybe the iPad Air 6 adopts OLED instead of the iPad Air 5, we should see in 2022. Right, so let's now move on to the iPad Pros getting OLED in 2023. Now do note, Minchi Kuo has not said this, only the elect mentioned such a thing happening. Now on the surface, this story might make some sense because obviously the only thing stopping Apple from giving the iPad Pro OLED is the fact they need a component called LTPO, which allows the variable refresh rate we see on the iPad Pro today on OLED displays. And well, I think it's a pretty hard thing to make, especially in the sizes that Apple wants for the iPad Pro on the scale Apple needs. I mean, this was the exact issue the iPhone 12 series faced last year because the Pro line was supposed to get 120 hertz, but because Apple suppliers could not make LTPO on the scale Apple needs, and so that's why they scrapped the feature for the iPhone 12, and now we're seeing it with the iPhone 13, since I'm assuming they've sorted the supply issues. And of course, I'm assuming it's harder to make a 12.9 inch LTPO display compared to a 6 inch LTPO display. And so while Apple has fixed the supply issues with the iPhone, I think it might take some time to bring the flexible OLED LTPO displays to the iPad Pro. And so the 2023 timeline does make some sense. Also remember that Mark Gurman did say that Apple's working on larger iPad screens for the near future. And so yes, maybe we do see OLED with these new sizes. But now we come to some issues with this report and that's a fact, there are actually some advantages with mini LED over OLED. Now guys, I am not a display expert, but while OLED does have better colors than mini LED, I do believe that mini LED has the upper hand when it comes to brightness. And of course, being a pro device, Apple likes to flex how bright the display can get 
And so yes, maybe this was one of the reasons why Apple went ahead and used mini LED on the iPad Pro. Now, of course, it is possible that OLED technology continues to improve and maybe we do get to a point where OLED can match the brightness of mini LED. But even then, let's think about this practically. Why would Apple invest their time into mini LED only to ditch it on the iPad Pro a few years after? I mean, this is the company that up until this year was using LCD on every iPad they released. And so I do kind of find it hard to believe that Apple's going to be ditching mini LED this soon. Now, Ming Shi Kuo says something completely different to the elect. He says mini LED should stay on the iPad Pro for the foreseeable future. And instead, OLED and mini LED coexist in the range. Now, I do think for the time being, that does make a ton of sense, especially when the iPad Air should be adopting a rigid form of OLED that should still be inferior to mini LED. And so, yes, I do think that's more likely, though I don't want to completely dismiss the Alex report, since obviously the iPad Pro is supposed to have the best display possible. And so if Apple can give us OLED with the brightness levels of mini LED, then yeah, by all means, give it to us because that would be an absolutely amazing display. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think Apple's going to stick with mini LED on the iPad Pro or will they be making the switch to OLED in 2023? Anyways, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the icon above about details regarding the iPhone 13. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.